Hi guys, Fireplays here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys we are going to be doing my Adelaide Coast, my coach career mode, alright guys. In today's episode we play the 17th placed Saints, alright guys. Um, and up, it's up with Zaglis as well. In this episode we're going to be going ahead and doing two rounds, this one and of course skipping our buy. Um, so that'll be good, we'll get the two rounds done. Now, I did say in yesterday's episode, um, let me know team selection changes. This is actually recorded before I posted the other episode. So, uh, next week, if you want to let me know any team selection changes, you can go ahead and do so. There's going to be a couple of players' last chances this week. Um, I am pretty happy with Jimmy Rowe from last week, however, though. But if you haven't gone and checked out last week's episode, please go ahead and do so right now. It's between Collingwood and the Adelaide Crows. Um... So yeah, I'll just give you guys a little bit of a moment to go ahead and check that out. Alright, so I've given you guys a bit of time if you haven't gone and checked out last week's episode. Um, yeah, it, it was amazing. It was a successful robbery. None, no men, no men of the match on there. Um, that's more than fine, however. Because like, look, we, we just need to get the points. We just need to take the points away. Uh, it was heritage round. It's actually indigenous round because um, they don't have... Um, Indigenous Guernseys. I'm going to play as the Heritage Guernseys will be Indigenous Guernseys for me. Um, so that's good um, to know. So I wear our in, uh, Heritage or Indigenous um, Guernseys later in the year as well. So I have to pick out a couple of rounds. You guys can let me know. I'll just go through the rounds that we have. We've got this one, which I'm not going to wear it. Uh, we've got our buy. I'd probably consider wearing it up against the Lions. We'll wear it in some home games. So we'll probably wear it against West Coast as well. And then that would probably, I reckon, and then we can wear it against like Port perhaps, something like that. So that's the plan. I'll, I'll document a couple of rounds that I wear our Heritage Guernsey in, of course. But today's episode is against Saints. We got the four points robbery last week against the Pies. Let's get into the little pre-game shows or segments, as you like to call it. We, of course, go through our career history. Then we look at Coleman. We'll look at disposals today. We will look at the stakes, of course. We'll look at fixtures. Uh, we'll go through messages. We'll look at match objectives. We'll go through team selection. Then we'll go through injuries and tribunal. There is a lot to go through. So, 61.54 win percentage. That's our win percentage. We are 8, 4, and 1. We've played 13 games. Of course, we had that draw against West Coast over in Perth. Now... We go to um, the Coleman, who's leading the Coleman. Well, we have Jaden Hunt, 28 goals, 26 for Billings, 25 for Rowe, and 24 for Walker. Walker has actually been my pick of the goals right now. Uh, if we have a look at who's averaging how many per game, Will Kelly is averaging four goals a game, but that's probably because he hasn't really played a lot. Um, James Rowe, 2.083. Now, I want to see where Taylor Walker... Taylor Walker averages two goals a game, so um, that's pretty good. I think he got like a bag of four last week, um, last game, should I say, which is pretty good um, as well. We go into team stats. We have a look at our disposals here. We have a look at our kicks. Rory Laird, 60. Hambles, David McKay, 22. Disposals, 77 for Matt Crouch, 74 for Rowan Laird. Contested possessions, 52 for Sloan. Uncontested possessions, 110 for Rowe, 109 for Matt Crouch. Disposal efficiency, 14 for McKay, 13 for Thielthorpe, 10 for O'Brien. And Clang was 200 for O'Brien, 106 for Thielthorpe. And Sam Berry, 42, 44, Laird and Sloan, the two Rorys. We have a look at our leading goals scores we have row 25 walker 24 i do feel like walker's going to take over row today that's going to be my call for the match is that walker is going to get three or more goals and that he will take over jimmy row in the coleman race um that's my decent prediction lynch and murphy on 17 12 for berry and himmelberg and then 11 for crouch and phil thought peddler missed five weeks he's still got the nine goals as well um, so that, that's always good. Uh, little side segment, stakes today. We are in sixth. We can go up to second with a pretty decent win. Well, in fact, we just really have to win. Uh, and the Saints, well, they are quite low right now. 
and they can actually get overtaken by the Brisbane Lions. So they can move down to 18th. But of course, if they win today, they can go up to 15th on the ladder. And well, if we lose today, we can be stuck in 7th. So not really too bad. I mean, the Cats, of course, they've still got a couple of games in hand as well. So we could probably be going down to about 8th. Uh, we'll be able to see where we sit after the bye because that'll be a big round. Fixture, time to go through that. This round we've had Collingwood getting over the Ds and the Giants getting over North Melbourne. Um, match objectives and then it's into team selection. So five bounces, one banana goal and 25 marks. We'll have a look at Kazali Stadium. There was a lot to get through in today's pre-game show. I feel like I've just been talking this whole time, which I technically have. Um, Darcy Fogarty wants a chance. I'm not going to give him that today. Uh, Sloan, Crouch and Walker were the standouts in the Collingwood win. Uh, and St Kilda, Brad Crouch is in red hot form. So, of course, we've got to make sure that hopefully we can put our brother, his brother Matt, to him. That'd be pretty That'd be pretty intense. I would be saying St Kilda have no suspended players, same as us. We've got no injured players. We hope we don't get any injuries. Jade Gresham, Jack Steele and Bradley Hills out. That is an elite list of players gone for the Saints. I've gone through and trained all the players I need to. So, Himmelberg, Walker, Murphy. I'm going to roll that. Lynch, Philthorpe, Rowe, um, O'Brien, Crouch, Sloan. Yep, Keys, Laird, and Seedsman. So, Brad Crouch, where is he going to be playing? He might be on interchange. Smith, Duday, Kelly, Miller, at Tarly, at Brown, then Pedler, Berry, Cook, and McKay. So, where is Brad Crouch? He's not here. They're going to drop him. He's, like, not there. Brad Crouch is not there. Or am I just blind? <laughs> am I just like blind or something? Or is he? I don't think he's here. He's not here. That is crazy. So in his big game, he's not there. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll with that and then peddler Berry Cook McKay. Now, let me know. Frampton, Schonberg, McHenry, Worrell, Shoal, Murray, Haightley, O'Connor, McPherson, Butts, McAdam, Jones, um, McCasey, Hamill, Fogarty, who deserves a chance out there? You guys let me know in the comment section down below and I will try my best to make some changes for the team if you guys want them. Uh, it's prediction time. My big my big call, I'm not going to get into wearing, um, doing a big call every game, but my big call is going to be that Walker is going to get three goals. Well, it doesn't matter how many he gets. It's that he's just going to overtake Jimmy Rowe in the Coleman medal race. So he's got to get at least two, two, two plus goals and make sure that Rowe doesn't get any. Of course, we want Roe to get lots of goals as well, but that's just my big call. My prediction is going to be that we've been pretty lowly in the last couple of weeks. We actually haven't played the best lots of games. I'm going to say we are going to get the job done by three points up Kazalis. So I'll see you guys there for this epic encounter between Adelaide and... I mean, between St Kilda and Adelaide, up at Kazali Stadium, up there, Kazali. I think the Crows are going to win by three points. See you there, guys. So... It is going to be St Kilda versus Adelaide. Lion free on the Fire Plays TV channel from Kazali Stadium. I said the Crows are going to win it by three. And Walker is going to overtake Rowe. Um, I don't think this is going to be the highest of scoring matches. It's up at Kazali's. It's a daytime game. It's overcast. Let's get things underway. Right at V O'Brien. And they go at it. Oh, St Kilda. They can start their account. I'm not quite sure who this is because I don't see the number. But that's a good kick. And Butler gets the first of the match. Zach Jones just got that one and Duda wasn't good in that occasion and Tim Membry gets the goal. We just let our opponents have too much space. Just we, they're just beating us through the middle of the ground though. Here's an opportunity for Thilthorpe, Murphy, Walker. He's already going to be able to get a goal. I said he'd overtake Rowe. He is level with Jimmy Rowe now in this Coleman medal race. Just came in. Jake Kelly, Paul Seedsman, Jake Kelly, Tex. He's going to get another. And he's overtaken Jimmy Rowe in the Coleman medal race. He's got two goals, does, he does Tex. And well, he's just going to send the Saints back in. That was a... That, that wasn't the best kick in. And, well, now Riley O'Brien is off and running. He's just got Himmelberg in front. And, well, Himmelberg here should be able to not really make a mistake here. And he nails it. So, Elliot Himmelberg, he needed that goal. He really wants to stay in the team. He gets the goal. And that was a nice play from Adelaide for Keys. And he sticks the mitts out on that one. Ben Keys brings in an absolute blinder of a mark. And he can go back. And that should be a goal. And it doesn't miss to Ben Keys. It's 
been pretty good now. He's definitely had a really good second, well, uh, second half to the first half of this season. Han, and he can at least just stop the Saints play from taking a mark. Matt Crouch now has Braden Cook. And, well, he just squares that one. Sloan to Walker. Walker is on fire. He's got three goals this match. And, wow, Tex is an absolute star. Riley O'Brien, and it's quarter time. So, we've got a 21-point lead. St Kilda 2-0-12, Adelaide 5-3-33. We've gone pretty well. Seven touches for Kraut, six for Walker, four for Sloan, three goals for Walker, a goal for Keyes and a goal for Himmelberg. Six touches for Geary, five for Frawley, five for Webster and a goal for Membry and Butler. Let's get into the second quarter line from the Fireplace TV channel. Is Adelaide versus St Kilda. Well, we're underway here. And then now, McKernan just stood there and sockers it through the Saints with the quick start. Get back. And it's there for Riley O'Brien. Timmy Rowe, little kick over the top for Luke Pedler. Was amazing. And he's just not going to waste time. He's going to kick the goal. Uh, angle, but it was like a 10 metre kick. So Luke Pedler nailed it. Berry, Rowe, Braden Cook, Lachlan Murphy. Here's O'Brien. And there's another goal. What about that play from Adelaide? Now there, Riley O'Brien again. Zach Jones, Jimmy Rowe, Luke Pedler, Riley O'Brien, Elliot Himmelberg. It's there for Tex. How's that? Again, we are storming away. The Saints, they are not playing well. Ball and Tom Lynch gets the free. And the Crows are on fire. He's nailed it. And we are having a day to remember at Kazali's. And then now the Tex. It's there for him. He's going to look at getting another. And boy, oh boy, Tex is having a day out as well. That's goal number five. And boy, he's looking like man the match right now. The Saints, only the one goal this quarter. Can McKernan add? He can. He gets the goal that the Saints desperately needed. But, yeah, they're not playing very well right now, the Saints. He get a little bit of momentum going the Saints way. It's just going to be coming back to us, though. Brody Smith, we know he's got the legs of this. He can kick a great goal, and he nails it. What a way to finish off our second quarter in a little bit of style. Roland Marshall, Zach Jones, and the halftime bell saves us. We have a 43-point lead at halftime. 4-3-27, St Kilda, 11-4-70, Adelaide. We have really been with them. Matt Crouch, 11 touches, 9 for Walker, 8 for O'Brien, 5 goals for Walker, 1 for Smith, 1 for Keys for the Saints. 13 touches for Geary, 9 for Howard, 8 for Frawley, 2 goals for McKernan, 1 for Membry, 1 for Butler. So if we have a look at the Saints, 53 fantasy for Frawley, 52 for Howard, 50 for Geary. Have a look at our fantasy. 69 for O'Brien, 55 for Walker, 43 for Phil Thorpe. Um, yeah, Tex. I did say that he would take over Row in the Coleman medal race. And boy, has he done that. Let's get the third quarter underway. Second half, O'Brien v. Ryder. Saints v. Adelaide up at Kazali's. And well, Ross. And then now, goal coming up for Saints. And boy, they needed that one. Dan Hannabury gets it. And he has been pretty good for this match. Clark. I'm at Connolly. And back-to-back -back goals for the Saints. St Kilda, Dunstan, a pretty decent opportunity, and he nails it. The Saints are not giving up yet. Elliot Himmelberg, he, he knows who we'll be looking for, and, well, that'll work to Braden Cook. Braden Cook, the left footer. And I think he's done just enough on that kick, and he has. So, nice goal for Braden Cook, and that is the one that we needed just then we could feel comfortable. Kelly, Riley O'Brien. Paddy Ryder, miss, oh no, I thought he missed it, he just sneaks that one home. Keys now, was hot on the heels, and will Braden Cook, can he just finish off a nice bit of play, of course he can, Braden Cook is really good, and he finishes off the nice bit of play that just happened. Now there's options for the Saints, and Bytel gets it, so the Saints respond. Lukey Pedler, we get a goal to end the quarter. That was like a 15 metre directly in front kick and Luke Pedler finishes off the job. 
And there's a goal for the Saints. Sean McKernan with the instant response back to a 25 point margin. I don't think Tex was there in the third quarter. Uh, St Kilda 10565 plays Adelaide 14690. Matt Crouch 10 touches. Riley O'Brien. I meant Matt Crouch 12 touches. Riley O'Brien 10 touches. Walker 9 touches. Walker 5 goals. 2 for Peddler. 2 for Cook. Geary 17 touches. 12 for Howard. 11 for Webster. 3 for McKernan. 3 goals for McKernan. 1 for Dunstan. And 1 for Hanabry. It'll tell me he was injured. Walker. No, nah, he's all good. 92 fantasy for O'Brien. 55 for Walker. 52 for Crouch, 48 for Cook, 44 for Fieldthorpe. So, it's a big final quarter coming up. Akazali Stadium. Let's get it underway. O'Brien v Ryder. Live from the Fireplace TV channel. It is St Kilda versus Adelaide up Akazali Stadium. Wood, Sloan, Fieldthorpe. Fieldthorpe. And he gets it. So, good start to the final quarter. We get the goal. Fieldthorpe, nice work. Was ready. Do day. Brown had to protect Higgins and well Higgins gets the goal so the Saints respond. Paddy Ryder. He was about 35 metres directly in front and he gets the goal. The Saints are coming. Berg stands underneath it. It's there for Berry. Brody Smith. He's already kicked a goal this match. That's his second. And Brody Smith gets the goal. And that is nice. Or he missed he he got something and he's got that. Sinclair 50 minute kick and he nailed it. They, that's like literally their game. Saints, they can still win this. Sinclair gets another and he's probably gone for man the match. Saints are going to rob us. Mason Wood sneaks at home. But yeah, the Saints could be robbing us right now. They could literally do this. Oh, it's going to be another goal. Rowan Marshall kicks it and it's a one point game. Rowan Marshall, the siren might have actually sounded. We're going to get beaten. We're going to get beaten. He kicks the goal, Ron Marshall. Miller. Oh, we got robbed. We robbed A team and then we get robbed. O'Brien, man, the match. Nice work, Rob. Nice. So, Walker. Walker played pretty well. He got 53. You, oh no, 62. Walker, you need to do a little bit better than that because you got five first half goals and then you couldn't follow it up. But O'Brien was good, Kraut was good, Philthorpe was good, and so was Walker. And Laird played an alright game. We got players like, if we go and have a look at goals, Walker got five, Cook got two, Pedler got two, Smith got two, Himmelberg won, Keys won, Lynch won, O'Brien won, and Philthorpe won. And I mean, look, the Saints are a good team in Evo. They're not such a good team in real life. Um, but yeah, Riley O'Brien, man, the match. Darren Geary, second and third. Paddy Ryder. Now, our spot in the eight looks a little bit shaky. We got up to about a 50 point lead at one stage. And we couldn't just keep it. We literally couldn't keep the damn lead. They came back, they came hard, and in the end, they beat us by. by six points. And I mean, I did think a close game was coming, but yeah, not 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 like this. Geary 22 touches, 14 for Hanabry, 13 for Frawley, and McKernan three goals, Sinclair two, Ryder two. So, Paddy Ryder played a pretty good game as well. He was good in the ruck. We have a look here. We did win the hit house. We actually got a pretty good amount of disposals. We flooded too many times with those handballs. 65, that was too many, I think. I think we need to do a little bit better than that in the future. Only the 10 marks, I've put the marks saying that we don't really get a lot of marks anyway. So let me just check the fantasy points. Um, I don't think we got any injuries out of that though. O'Brien, Crouch, still thought Walker. Yeah, it, it was a it was a pretty good game though. I'd say for the time we led 27 to 70. I don't know how we gave up a 43 point lead to be completely honest. If you're asking me, um, yeah, I, I really don't know how we gave that up, but we did. I mean, look, we've given we've made teams give up their lead for us, so uh, that's what happens in return. You you lose, you win. We haven't lost in a little while anyway, so it was probably about time for a loss to come back on the board anyway. We've got our buy, so we'll go ahead and skip that and probably fall out of the eight. I'd be thinking, that's probably what I'd be thinking. We'll get into five votes for um, St Kilda match in a moment. So now we've got Carlton, who was sixth. 
this is a big match. This is a massive match. It's going to be a good one. We are in seventh, so we haven't lost our spot in the eight at all. The Saints, I think they're trying to arrive their season, to be completely honest. And, yeah. <coughs> Starting to get close. So we'll just go through um, our emails. I really hope we didn't lose any players to injury or tribunal. Um... So the unperformed players were Sam Berry, Tom Duda, and Daniel Tully. I actually thought everyone played a reasonable game. Fogarty, I'm sorry, Fogarty. And Fogarty, I'm sorry. Cripps is in red hot form. This is the game. This one here is the one that we need to win, which I don't know if we can, to be completely honest. Um, now he's going to go through Fire's votes in a moment. So it's time to go through Fire's votes now. So winning three votes today, I actually thought he was exceptional. Yes, Riley O'Brien. Winning two votes today um, is going to be Matt Crouch and Riley Fieldthorpe. And winning the one vote today, who only played a damn half in the game for some odd reason. He wasn't there in the third quarter, nor the fourth. He played all the quarters, but he couldn't get any goals. Winning the one vote today is Tex. But I'm, I'm disappointed in that. I'm very disappointed. Like, yeah, that, that's a sad loss. That is a sad loss. Losing from that far ahead is just gutted. Like, I feel gutted. Like, literally gutted. Um, our season objectives, 59 contested marks, we've done 25. One out of 15 dribble goals and 68 out of 278 torpedo kicks. Uh, fixture time, we've done fires votes, then we'll check our career history. So, uh, we had our game. Sydney got over Hawthorne by a point. Port Adelaide over Geelong and Frio over Gold Coast by a point. And then the round where we didn't play, we had the uh, Dogs over the Cats. Subs over Port. And then we had the Carlton over GWS. We had Essendon over Hawthorne. Brisbane over North. And then Richmond over West Coast. Um, and then Brisbane got over Geelong. And that's our game. It is a Friday night. It is Carlton up against Adelaide. It is a big game. You guys can let me know team changes because there might need to be a couple after that. 57.1 for win percentage. Stat leaders is good. The good thing about that, though, is that we could have a new Coleman medal leader. Tex Walker is on top with 29 goals. Jimmy Rowe is actually suspended. I don't know how. I'll have to check this out. Um, charging. Oh, appeal. Oh, you are joking. We are without Roy for three weeks. He wanted to win the Coleman, and now he can't. That is gutted. Again, I feel gutted over that. That is annoying. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, I reckon. Uh, it didn't end on a very good high. I mean, text in front of the Coleman is a good thing, but losing like that is so sad, so annoying as well. Multiple different things are, are feeling like that. Staff, I don't think I need another staff. Finances, I don't think I need to mess with that either. So, now it's just time to check the ladder, of course, with our Sandful um, team. We are on top, which is a very good thing. So, I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. Since I still have one unread email, so I'll just read it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so then you guys will be notified when we just come out. That's it from me now, guys. So bye, guys. Fire plays out.